Welcome everybody, it's Tom, and today we're going to be discussing one of the biggest questions we have right now. What became of this world, Samantha? And when I say this world, Samantha, I mean the giant and the Rise of the Rockets world, Samantha. So without further delay, let's get right into this. Now, back in the giant, we arrived right after Samantha and Maxis were sent away by Rick Toffin. We get this in the cutscene that we get, well, I guess it's not in cutscene, but the the loading screen, whatever it is, we get that right away. So they were sent away at that point. And what exactly happened in the original world? The one where Samantha controlled the zombies. I'll actually play the radio for you that we got way back then. And I'll let you guys listen to it real fast. Mr. Schuster, report. The tanks are full and the shields are down. The machine is humming nicely. Good. And what are the shipment? Most are buried outside of the base. The live ones we've sent back to Kustva Postum. Excellent. And there's nothing left but to wait for Dr. Richtofen's return. Perhaps this is a good time to work on my low-gravity putting in the biodome. Yes. A little leisure time would. Intruder detected. Receiving bay. This is not a Security. Report. This is not a Can you repeat? She's coming right, told them. Get her! Get back here! They do not let her! So what happened, right after Samantha was sent away in the teleport, she ran straight into the MPD. So if that's the case in the Rise of the Rocket, what exactly became of her? If she didn't make it to the MPD, she's obviously dead because the moon's completely destroyed. I think we can tell that from the, the end of the Rise of the Rocket Easter Egg. We may have killed her. But if she made it inside the MPD, we did actually bring the MPD down to Earth and then the Keeper was in it. But after that, we're, we're not exactly sure what happened to it. Because after we do the Easter egg, it just disappears. We have no idea what happens to it. Another huge question that we need, to be, we need to figure out very soon. But what exactly happened to Samantha? Now, there's one thing I want to bring up. It's something we got so long ago. This is also, this was found not by me originally. This was found by, I want to say somewhere on the COD Zombies forums, but I don't believe that's actually where it is. I can't remember. It's just, it might even just been a YouTube comment. I think it might have been too. But anyways, back, I think it was a DICE conference. Treyarch showed up and they were giving a whole bunch of stuff. They were giving a whole bunch of nice things. And they gave us this image on screen, a remake of the moon loading screen. And I'll also let you see the original moon loading screen just for you can see the difference. Well, now that we're on the older one, there's a few things I want you to make note of. If you look at the, all the way to the bottom right, there's just this weird thing right there, this metal thing. And then on the top one, you see the moon and some pyramid thing. I think that's supposed to be the MPD, but I don't know. But anyways, you see Samantha's shadow there also. Now let me show you the new one. And Samantha's shadow is no longer there. But in the bottom right corner, it's not that weird metal thing, and it looks like Samantha inside this real lava-looking place. This is actually, again, not found by me, but if you actually look at this background, it actually, it's actually a, play, a map that we've actually seen before to a different loading screen. I'll have it on screen right now. Yep, it's Shangular's loading screen. Now, this is super cool. What if Samantha wasn't teleported to the moon in this universe? What if that changed? That's where they started separating. If she was teleported to, to Shangular, what could she be doing in there? Also, there's a lot of things inside this Shangular loading screen that's so cool. You can also see in the crops down there, you can see the, the Black Suns logo. You see a tornado. You can just see a whole bunch of stuff we have no idea how to explain at this point. But we're mainly going to be focusing on Samantha being here. If she was teleported to Shangular, what could she what could she have done? Now first let's ask what is in Shangular? There's believed to be a gateway to Argartha. Now Argartha, we've only heard someone actually in Argartha only once before, I believe. Forgive me if I'm mistaken. And also keep in mind Argartha and the Ether are different places. Ether is a place where you control the zombies. Argartha, people say you can control the zombies from there too, but um, I don't think so. It, it's kind of confusing, but you have to keep in mind they are separate things. So if Samantha did find a way to actually enter into Argartha, what could she actually be doing in there? This actually, to me, I got really excited when I first thought of this because 
Samantha was actually in Argartha before. Remember back in Origins? At last, I'm to be freed from Argartha. Your reward awaits you, my heroes. Samantha was trapped in Argartha. She wanted our help. She was trapped in Argartha. What if inside this, this is where she originally got, of course, it's a theory part. This is a theory part of this. And I, myself, it's, it seems hard and out there, this theory, but it's still super cool nonetheless, because what if this world, Samantha, is the one who was talking to our Origins characters originally? Because this is a different universe compared to the old one. This would make sense why she's an, she has an American accent and not a German accent that she originally had. This would explain a lot, a lot of things. This would just be so cool if that was it. Also, we see inside the Rised Rocket, there's a toy of our Samantha that we had in the original world. So... Would she really have a toy made up of herself or what What if is this is how, where she got the idea of this bear type of deal thing and just, you know, thought it was so cool and so she got herself a bear and all that good stuff inside this world. Now, she, except inside this world, she, that's not how she actually looks. She's the one from the Origins loading screen. It could be a possibility. I'm not saying it is. In fact, I'm not saying anything. Or really, it's a theory, but... Tell me what you guys think. Remember, she was teleported to Shangular. Shangular, the only thing that we know was there was the um, thing that we used in Moon. What was it called? Man, I forgot. The thing we used for the Easter egg inside Moon. I forgot, forgive me. But I don't think she can actually help with that because I'm pretty sure that can only really help open the MPD. But anyways... What if she actually got inside Argartha? What could she do? Of course, like I said, what if she went inside Argartha and started influencing in the Origins universe that we are now not in or whatever? But it's just, ah, oh, tell me what you guys think. Of course, if there's any flaws I made inside this, go ahead and tell me down in the comments. If there's anything at all you want to say, add on to this theory. Or if you want to destroy the theory, whatever you want to do to help to help destroy, anything is acceptable down there. So tell me what you guys think. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.